Alright, hello there guys, um, I'm just doing a video now just because someone requested that I make a sort of loading um, bar, so if a game is loading so on, um, then it would do the spaces and like slowly progress till it's finished. Um, so I'm just going to show you how to do that. Um, I made a simple one. Uh, it doesn't overwrite the other line, so it just continues going down and prints a new line every time. <coughs> but obviously, if you're using something like Pi Game and you set it on, say, whatever, it would uh, update and set the screen to blank every time, and so the extra things would be um, um, put on because of the refresh rate of the screen. Um, that's what I personally know. Um, anyway. So we're going to first go by importing time, as we're going to be using the time function to um, define when the, bu the button's going to load the next part of the whatever. Obviously that time is going to be dependent on what you want, I guess. Um, it doesn't really matter. Um, anyway, so we're going to do loading loading bar. Actually, I should probably get rid of this. We'll, I can probably test it at the end and pause the video and test it and then um, come back. Uh, we're also going to put... Sorry. Ooh, what am I doing? Stop. There. I'm going to put that in. Uh, and we need to unindent it. Alright. Now we're going to come down here. Um, dashes equal uh, 1. And spaces equal 10 or 9, whatever, it doesn't really matter as long as you set the four, first for loop um, to whatever those two numbers there add up to, so obviously 11. So range, far out, i got some terrible typing at the moment. So this is going to be 11 because those 10 and 1 add up to 11. Then we're going to go into the next line, we're going to print um, loading. So that's going to print the first line of the um, of the loading bar. So it's going to tell you that it's loading and have the little like opening bracket for like sort of a box. Um, and then we're going to put a comma down. We're going to end equals and two brackets. And that's going to mean that it doesn't break the line when the next one prints and there's no space, um, as I'll sh explain later. Um, so obviously, f you can go watch my other videos to find out what a for loop is. It's um, just going to run 11 times through this. Uh, we're going to nest it with another for loop. Uh, this one's going to be x in range. Um, yeah, I think I can actually get rid of that. I'm, I, I might change it at the end. Um, for x in range, uh, dashes. So that's going to take this one here and run this one time, this for loop. Um, dash is equal to a straight line. Uh, so that's the one underneath your backspace button. Um, we're then gonna load uh, loading bar dot append, which I'm actually, yeah, this is what I don't know if I need. Um, Uh, we may not need that. Um, I might be able to change that and uh, remove it and put on a new one. Uh, just have it printing um, a dash every time instead. And that will shorten up the code, but I'll leave that till the end. Uh, so we're going to loading bar. So this is going to print that dash. Um, yeah. Okay. And then we're going to end that too end equals um, double parentheses with no space again uh, sorry double double um, speech marks with no space and that's going to be that for loop so in the next for loop uh, for y in range um, spaces I could probably change these for loops too but f these are the simplest way to uh, actually do it uh, so print, um, this is just going to print the spaces after the thing so that it's always the same length. Um, so uh, end 
equals and parentheses with a space because it's going to have to have a space every time it prints. And then on this line we're going to go time sleep dot sleep um, one second. Oh, one second. So that's going to stop the code for one second until that one second is passed, and then it's going to carry on. Now for dashes, we want to plus equals one. So that's going to increase the dash amount of dashes printed each time, and spaces minus equal uh, equals one. So that's going to make the spaces smaller. Now we're going to also print the end, uh, the end bracket, which needs to be inside our speech marks. And if we run that now, as you see, it is every second printing down here. Um, uh, parenthesis and uh, the loading, the square bracket, the dashes and the square bracket at the end after all the spaces. Um, so what I'm going to try and do quickly is remove all this <coughs> and instead of putting that in there we're going to go with a space like that. See if that works. There you go. So we just removed two lines of the code and that works still too. Um, we could change the for loops too, but there's not really any point in that, um, as this is the most simplest way I can think of showing you guys how to do it. Um, but, yeah, so this is how to make a basic one. Uh, obviously, if you th this would probably work with Pygame. Um, you probably want to blit it to the screen though, and it's going to refresh every time the screen refreshes. Um, but, yeah. Thanks for watching and make sure to thumbs up this video or whatever. Comment on anything you want to suggest. I do. Obviously this was a suggestion from a friend. Um, and yeah. I'll hopefully see you in, or you can see my other videos. We'll check out my other videos. Thanks. See you.